How's it going, everybody? Blake here with Blake's Builds. Uh, this is part nine, I think, which is kind of crazy that uh, I've been working on it this long. <laughs> uh, so anyways, uh, in the last video, we got the Terminator installed. We got the intake on, which I did go ahead and hook up the throttle cable. But yeah, that's neither here nor there. Um, now... I think in the beginning of this video, I'm going to run the controls for the uh, transmission from the Terminator and the main power for the Terminator. Uh, you know, this seems a little short to me. Uh, I don't know if that if it is because I thought 36 inches for my throttle cable was going to be too short. But look how uh, flexible and extra, how much extra I got there. But uh, the power cable looks like it has plenty on there and whatnot. I have to run that directly to the battery. It's very adamant in the instructions that it must be ran to the battery, which I might have to get a new battery because, you know, the stock Silverado battery, it's got the side lugs and, you know, it wants it, it wants its own power, like its own like connection. So like, I guess I could probably get a new terminal. That's probably that's probably what I'll do. I'll just get a new terminal and add it on there. But anyways, enough talk and uh, guess there's nothing to it but just to do it. So here's a better look at the hole in the firewall that I made uh, in the last video. We have to get all this through it. Granted, the cable itself isn't that big, but that's a lot to shove through there. Uh, but I think I can do it. So let me get that pushed on through there. There was no way <laughs> I was fitting all the lines through that one two-inch hole like the instructions suggested. Maybe I need to lead, read them a little closer because maybe that was per harness. I don't know, but there was no way I was fitting everything through that. Uh, I used a whole two-inch hole saw just right above it, and then I have one of these from Harbor Freight. Let's see, what is this thing called? I don't even know. Band file belt sander hole or belt? No, band file. This thing is super handy, you know, because that hole saw left a pretty jagged edge. I was able to just take this little belt sander and knock down all the corners and smooth it out and it looks a hundred times better so let's get the wires ran through the hole little tech tip take some like uh, this is eighth inch silicone hole hose <laughs> uh just cut what you need i reused the piece i already had you know that i had around the hole um so i just needed one little extra piece but Take some eighth inch hose, cut it, split it down the middle, and now you got a nice protective edge so your wires don't chafe. This is the main power harness for the Terminator. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty thick cable. It looks to be like 10 gauge. Uh, it's got an inline fuse, and that's where it just plugs right into the back of the uh, Terminator. So I think while I'm running all these wires to the hole, I'm going to go ahead and run that too. Back in the cab, uh, I do have everything ran in. Um, got transmission. There's the main harness. And there's the main power. So it looks like all I need to do is really plug it in. I feel like I need to state that it is a little tight trying to get this in there when you get all the wires on the back of it. I may need to, you know, drill some holes back here, but I am limited by the air box. Um, I don't think it's that close, but I could probably get away with expanding out in this area. You know, just take a Dremel or something and cut this out. I'd probably be okay. Um, it is tight, but I think it's going to be good. I think this will be a good place for it. There's nothing really for the wires to chafe on. Um, and I got some Velcro coming on the in, on the way. I'm probably going to have to glue a piece of... Uh, 
nylon down or something just to raise that up a little bit because it does with the wires on the back it doesn't want to sit flat like it was before but other than that i'm pretty happy with it i'm underneath the truck now um i have a new neutral safety switch um that was broken when i put it in and i ended up just cutting the wires because someone glued the uh plugs into it i don't know why but they're glued in um, I've got all the wires ran down here, so that's a good start. So I think it's just, uh, I think all we gotta do is pull it off there. It's three bolts, so one on either end and then the little shift lever. So, okay. We've got the transmission plugged up. We've got all the sensors in. Uh, uh, you can see the speed sensor right there in the center of the screen. You can see the transmission plug right there. Yeah, there's our, uh, Park uh, park sensor. Everything's hooked back up. Everything's looking good. So let's move to the top. Now that I've got the wiring figured out for most of the truck, it's time to keep going with the uh, twin turbo kit. I'm not too excited. The next step is, <laughs> honestly, it's probably why I've been procrastinating just keeping going with the turbo kit. Um, I have to drill and tap the front of the oil pan while it's in the truck. Uh, I don't know why it seems so daunting to me. Uh, maybe I'm a machinist, so uh, you know, drilling and tapping that ain't that ain't nothing. But I guess I'll think about all the metal that if I don't catch it, you know, it's gonna get into the engine. In the instructions, it does say to, you know, apply grease to your drill and stuff, and it catches all the shavings, which I understand. That. That's probably a good idea, but I just think about the little bitty pieces, you know. And I am going to change my oil after this. i got a can of brake clean and everything. I'm going to clean out the holes that I'm going to cut and everything and make them, make it, you know, try to get it, wash everything I can down at the bottom of the pan. Um, but I guess I can only stall for so long. And uh, we're going to have to do it. So, all right. This is the location. It wants me to drill and tap both of these holes. Um, you want it, it calls for them to be side by side. Um, it's a half 13. The kit does not come with a half 13. Uh, luckily, I already had one and a drill. So that wasn't a big deal. Um, it's aluminum, so it should cut pretty easy. One thing I will, uh, you know, kind of say about drilling, uh, drilling and tapping a pipe thread, they are uh, they are tapered. So if you go too deep, you can mess up your thread. Um, if you go too deep and you're when you're uh, fitting bottoms out, it's not sealing properly. So on that note, uh, my tap is already marked uh, from some previous fittings. I am going to take special care to make sure that still is correct, but. Other than that, really, let's get to cutting. All right, so here's the picture of what they are wanting to do. Um, here's how I'm going to do it. Uh, I'll, so for a half inch MPT, a 23, 30 seconds drill. I'm stepping up to that 23, 30 seconds. Um, that's a 316, so it's just going to be my starter. Uh, that's a 9.5 millimeter. So that's close to like a three eighths. So, yep. All right. Let's uh, let's do it. First sets of holes in went fairly smoothly. Don't think much got in there, but again, that's just the pilot hole. So let's step on up to the three eighths. Three eighths inch holes are done. Um, ready to step up to the big drill. That was actually surprisingly easy. Another pro tip. Watch sticking your finger in here, cause when that if that drill catches and it twists, it's gonna smash your finger. Ask me how I know. Somehow I was go able to get both my holes in there. I did have to put it in like speed two at the end, cause it kept wanting to like snag and break through. So I was having to like kind of bounce it and do it the improper way. Uh, I don't know if I got anything down in the pan, but I'm gonna check to make sure. But next will be to tap it. Another pro tip. 15 millimeter spline fits perfect. I don't really recommend doing this, but I don't really have a way to get a tap wrench in there, so I'm going to turn this thing down on low and let her eat. 
just to show you how well that grease works at keeping the chips on the uh, tap and the drill and stuff, that's pretty impressive. All right, so I've got both of them tapped. Now I need to clean it up and put a little grease on my finger, reach in there, and see if I can pull out any other metal that may have fallen inside the oil pan. So that's the amount of metal that I was able to pull out of the pan with my finger. Definitely something you'd want to do just to be sure and safe. So now I'm going to take some brake clean and spray in the hole and try to spray everything down to the bottom of the pan. It's time to install the 10AN fitting, so it's a half inch MPT to 10AN. Um, you do need to use thread sealant, it says. Make sure you buy sealant that is rated for the contents of whatever it's going in. So, like this is oil, and this is rated for oil. I think it's gasoline, pet petroleum, oil, propane, butane. Yeah, if not, you run the risk of it failing. So, let's put them in. Got both of them installed. Looking good. Everything looks like it's sealed up properly. So, let me go find the lines. Mount them up. I've got both hoses on. And honestly, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Honestly. And there's a little bit of clearance, but clearance is clearance. I'd like to thank y'all for watching, uh, or, you know, part nine of the twin turbo silver auto build. Uh, again, we made pretty good improvements. Um, you know, we got the, a lot of the wiring finished up for the terminator, you know, to get it where it would run and drive. Now I do have some accessories to hook up like dial a boost, flex fuel, um, fuel pressure, stuff like that. But, um, <laughs> we're doing good. Um, that, that was probably the biggest thing I was nervous about. I, I just, I hate the idea of drilling into my oil pan, adding oil or not adding oil, but adding shavings to the oil. And I don't know. And I was tempted. You can pull the oil pan on these trucks, um, the two wheel drive trucks without, you know, pulling the engine. And I, I seriously thought about it, but I decided against it. Uh, that was kind of the backup plan. But anyways, I like to thank you for watching. Chester, Chester boy, he'd like to thank you all for watching. Y'all have a good evening and God bless.